I wanted to, to share with you my cucumber pasta recipe. I don't know if you remember one of my posts. I had uh, this, which is uh, really good. So the way you, you turn your cucumber into this, you gotta use one of these things there. So when you place it there, you twist it, those little teeth will, uh, will create those pastas. But what's most important is the sauce that you're gonna use. And for this, you're gonna have cashews. So the cashews, cashews are the base of your sauce. I use one, one cup of cashews, uh, or maybe two cups, depending on how big. But just for me, I, I, I like to use um, a cup, a cup and a half of cashews. You let them soak for eight hours in, uh, in water. Just let them soak. Once they're done, put them in the blender with that. One tablespoon of almond, almond butter, because I love it. And uh, we're gonna put some white sesame. Uh, this, just a little bit. Because I can still use some at the end. I put some uh, some soy sauce. This brand is really good. Very salty, however, it's gluten free. If you have a difficulty with gluten, go with that brand. It's good. And this is about, I would say, one teaspoon or so. Himalayan salt that you're gonna grind, grind in there. Not too much because you don't want it too salty. Or if you want it too salty, just add as you want. I also add half of, uh, I press some lemon in there using uh, the lemon presser here and five dates. The dates, make sure you don't, you don't take the very dry one. Just use this one. And if you want, you can let them soak for five or 10 minutes in water. It's just gonna become more soft and it's easier in the process. So one, two, three, four, five dates, because I like it sweet. And of course, the garlic. As you can see, I love garlic a lot, so I'm gonna put a lot. You don't have to put that many, but for me, I like it. Another secret I want to share with you is the garlic. If you take the center, you might know it already, but if you take that piece, some of them are green. This one is kind of white, but you need to take that off. And the reason for that is it's harder to digest, but also after eating garlic, you, you feel like you have a bad breath, the garlic breath, well, it's that piece that gives it. So if you take that away, you also take the bad breath away. So I'm gonna go and take that off. Sorry, there you go. And I have fresh basil leaves that I'm gonna add into this. And now, where's the lid? I will mix everything together. Oh, sorry, I forgot one ingredient. It's called nutritional yeast. This will give a cheesy kind of texture. It's really more for the, for the flavor. Tastes like cheese without being cheese. So if you still want it vegan, this is the secret. And this, only one tablespoon like this will suffice. Let's mix all this together. So as you can see, it's quite thick. So I will add one cup of water. I probably have a little bit more than half a cup. But there you go. Let's start with this. There you go. 
now it's better. some more because it's too it's too thick so it's better to add little by by little because if you add too much you cannot remove the water but if you don't have enough water you can add some <laughs> Because I want extra vegetables and that is really up to you uh, what type of vegetables you're gonna add for me I love mushrooms so how about we cut some mushrooms and make sure you don't cut your fingers mushrooms are really easy to cut and the size again it's whatever size you want to have. So one thing I want to do is to add my sauce first. Let's look at that. Super thick, just the way I love it. And I put a lot because that sauce is delicious. It's to die for. So one thing about the sauce is it contains all the fat and the energy that you need. You need fat, nutrients. Yes, some vegetables have a little bit, but the cashews, the dates will give you the calories that you require for, for your day or for, for the next uh, few hours until the next meal. So it's important to that you understand you get your fats and your your um, calories in the sauce that's why you have a lot of sauce in there and you have a lot of ingredients high in calories and in fat because we're vegan we want to still have these so i'm gonna add the mushrooms in there and cut some kale i like to have my greens greens are very very important so let's put some I want to cut them a little bit uh, thinner. There we go, that quick. I want to add them into my recipe. There you go, just like that. And lastly, for me, some Brussels sprout sprouts. Just like that and I will mix everything together before I eat it so I can show you what it looks like this is a raw vegan recipe it's not long to make it's very delicious and highly uh, high in proteins in uh, calories and you have the fats did i mention the almond butter i think i did but this is good you can have uh, other type of nuts butter and that would be as good so this is it and those sesame seeds just to make it look Beautiful if you're serving for it to somebody else put some on top like that And how about we give it some color by adding Where is it some paprika I have Spanish smoked paprika Look at that 
Hmm, nice color, right? So we're gonna add some on top. And this is what it looks like. So if you're trying it, I hope you enjoy and don't forget to, to give me your feedback. Thank you for watching.